Steve's on another big sturgeon on the Columbia River fishing oversized fish with Northwest Sturgeon Adventures, Charlie Foster. Looks like he might jump. How big does this one feel, Steve? Oh, five. I wish you'd jump, but they're not jumping too much lately. It's August 15th, perfect time to be below Bonneville Dam. Oversized fish. We've already caught one that was over six feet. We've caught one that was 60 inches on the nose. Last month it would have been the king of keepers. But right now you can't keep them. It's an oversized catch and release fishery only. But this is the time when Charlie says it's the best time to get the big fish, isn't it? That's right. All right, should be getting close to seeing him. Another big old keeper, if it was July. Time to come for keepers if you really want to take one home would be November. Is that right, Charlie? October through mid-May. October through mid-May. Limit is one keeper per person during that time. But there's a lot of them. They're coming back in from hanging out in the ocean. They're coming into the river or they're coming in from the Willamette or the Columbia. Big fish. What do you think of the way these things fight? I'm glad you hooked that fish. <laughs> He's running again. I think he's a little bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> you need a break. Yeah, I do. All right. Charlie, you're up next. This is what it's like with oversized fish. We trade off because they're so tough. It takes two or three people to land them sometimes. What's he feel like, Charlie? Seven and a half, eight foot. Wow, that big. Yeah. Look all at of him a sudden run. he got real heavy. Yeah, you had him almost all the way in, Steve, and then he took off. And look at where we are. We're below Bonneville Dam. It's just gorgeous here. Take a panoramic view. Awesome area. These big sturgeon hang out in the currents waiting for these shad to kind of tumble down because they've spawned. And they're eating these shad and we're using these big huge shad baits in a single barbless hook. You put the, the bait as far back in the boat as you can, or below the drift, and you wait for them to come up and they start pecking at your bait. Was it fun, Charlie? I love that. I love that. <laughs> you like that, huh? I love it. Charlie's using a two-speed Avid. I hate to say this, John. There's one on the other one. <laughs> one on the... Let's see if I can go under and get that. You're okay, John. Just step over. No, all the way forward, that's full drag. Yep. All right, Charlie's got it in two-speed mode. Bring that fish in quick. Second oversize of the morning. You have some days where your guests get 12, 13 oversize in a day. 
Yeah, good day of fishing. You'll get you'll get 13 big fish out of here. That's a costly trip after they go home and have to go to their right. chiropractor. <laughs> Hopefully they've got good medical insurance and a yep. cheap copay. I would warn people that this is a fishery of big fish. You better come prepared to do battle. Because this is exercise. This is the most sporting freshwater fish in North America, without question, and it's the largest freshwater sport fish in North America. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Wow. I'm saying he's going to be eight feet or better. <laughs> Perfect. Getting close. I sure the hell hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we paused the the video a few times. We're at about 10 minutes now, so it's not too bad. You get a really big one, you could be at it for an hour. This is when he really gets to be a bulldog. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow! How big is that, Charlie? Wow. Wow. He might be about seven and a half. Big fish. Yeah, that's awesome. 